Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever part of the world you are joining in. Uh, my name is Vikram Goel and I welcome you to this next in the series of Live, Work, Play, The Tech and Way. So, uh, the series uh, really talks about uh, where we bring uh, some of our key leaders and uh, we unveil the other side of them, uh, what you would not have usually experienced at work. Uh, we get them to talk about some of the close to the heart stories, what inspires them in life, what makes them uh, bring the best to work at Tech Mahindra. And uh, we, we, uh, I think it's, it's pretty inspirational to look at that side. So today in this series, uh, I'm very privileged and honored to have a guest with me. Uh, she is an inspirational leader, 25 years of extensive experience. Uh, chartered accountant by qualification, but has successfully transformed uh, herself as a, as a very well-renowned uh, HR professional in the industry, in the corporate world. She has played very, very interesting and important roles over this course of 25 years. Uh, she was the head of uh, HR function, the talent management function in the erstwhile Satyam and Mahindra Satyam played a very crucial role during and post acquisition and helped uh, structure and uh, get the organization back in action. She also played a key role of uh, being the head of HR in one of the key verticals in uh, Infosys. So it's a privilege and honor for me to welcome Sucharita Palipu, the head of people, practices and policies at Tech Mahindra. A very warm welcome, Suchi. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Vikram. And thank you so much for having me on this show. Great, great. So, uh, Suchi, what a lovely uh, setup. So, do you mind uh, walk the talk today? Sure, why not? Oh, absolutely. Great, great. So, Suchi, uh, wanted, I was very curious and I'm sure a lot of associates would also be curious about it. You started as a chartered accountant and you have transformed yourself as a very successful HR professional. How has been this journey and what triggered that uh, you know, thought to make this shift? Hmm. Well, I guess, uh, you know, at times there are uh, pressures from the family, etc. And so therefore, uh, my parents believed that doing a chartered accountancy was the right career choice for me. Uh, but then when I started my career in finance and accounts, I, I, I felt that perhaps it was not a place where I would be really comfortable. And I uh, started getting more interested in the people side of the business, more interested in the management side. And that's when I felt that, uh, you know, perhaps HR would be the right place for me to be in. And, and I also believe that, you know, irrespective of, uh, uh, you know, what the function is, it's very important to have uh, a financial and a commercial orientation. And I do believe that has put me in good stead, uh, even in the HR function. And, uh, you know, I started off my career in compensation and benefits and then had the opportunity to move across various sub-functions within HR. So I think it's been a wonderful ride and uh, definitely not a decision that I regret. So, so what I hear you saying is that you followed your heart and it did pay off well. Well, I followed my heart. Hopefully it is paying off well, but I think, <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm, I'm enjoying myself. So, Suti, so uh, it's, it's very commonly said and I've read it a lot of times and a lot of places that uh, an organization's culture uh, really sets a company apart from the rest. Uh, and it's it's a key factor to determine the performance and the motivation for the associates what according to you at tech mahindra are those key characteristics of our culture which are really taking us places yeah so uh, so vikram i'll i'll kind of relate it in the context of one uh, what is some some aspects of the culture i can't cover all of them on this uh, particular show you know culture is not something which is defined on, on a piece of paper but it's also about how we behave in the organization and how everything that we do supports or manifests the culture of the organization so when we talk about uh, the connected world uh, you know uh, associates 
are encouraged to connect with leadership. We have an open door policy. There are absolutely no hindrances for people to even reach the highest uh, level within the organization. There are so many town halls, AHMs, where we cut across the various layers for leaders to reach out and connect with the associates. Not just connecting with the associates in terms of communication, but the way we connect with associates and their families, how we connect with associates and their well-being. So therefore, how are we bringing in connectedness in all our practices within the organization. Uh, similarly, when we talk about uh, we being an entrepreneurial and an adaptable organization, how does that get manifested in some of the programs that we have? So a lot of people would have heard of uh, programs like the Young CEO and Shadow Board. In fact, you were a mentor to the Shadow Board uh, several times over and you continue to be a mentor to the Shadow Board. And what, does, uh, what do these programs uh, really manifest? That we will recognize people who show entrepreneurial spirit the ability to you know go beyond uh, you know their uh, daily jobs their ability to um, rise beyond what they do and uh, uh, the organization has a mechanism of identifying these people giving them end-to-end -end businesses so that they can run them uh, as a CEO would run an independent business so these are some of the examples uh, of uh, the culture the aspects of the culture and how we reinforce them through various programs within the organization. So, uh, Suchi, I'm aware that we have created some simple rules of engagement for all our people managers with the intent for, you know, us helping them to rise and their teams rise. Now, what are those rules of engagement and why are they important? Why, why does it matter? So uh, Vikram, as you know that we have an engagement framework called MCARES, that is the Mahindra CARES. Yes. And CARES stands for Career Alignment, Recognition, Empowerment and Strive. Yeah. And engagement is not just the responsibility of the organization, but most importantly an associate is engaged when uh, uh, he or she interacts with the managers and it's about the experience that the associate has within a team. Uh, and how an associate uh, uh, you know, is empowered to do their work, uh, do they have the ability to innovate when they are at work, how do the managers encourage their career development, does the manager even have a conversation and understand what is the kind of career aspiration that the, uh, that the uh, associate has, uh, or what, are, uh, what is the potential of each of the uh, associates working on his or her team. Uh, how does the associate or, uh, understand the importance or their role in the overall objective of either the project or the business unit or the organization? So how are we aligning and are associates aware of the importance that each of them have and in what way uh, they contribute towards uh, the organization achievement? Uh, do the managers ensure their associate is recognized as and when an event happens, uh, as and when an associate shows high performance or is uh, you know, able to meet his or her targets or has done something exemplary at the work? And you know, uh, uh, you know. Fourthly, uh, uh, does the manager create a, a kind of a empowered, uh, you know, environment? And empowerment doesn't just mean uh, a financial empowerment. It's about uh, do we allow innovation within our teams? Do we allow sharing? How are we ensuring that uh, you know people are able to leverage their creativity uh, at the workplace? And of course, the last one is about well-being. Uh, you know, are we ensuring that there is, uh, you know, associates are getting ample time away from work to focus on their personal well-being are they being encouraged to take part in the wealth of wellness uh, activities etc so this is uh, what we call uh, rules of engagement it's really not a rule but it's more of a guideline, a guideline. in terms of how managers can ensure uh, they can improve the engagement levels within their teams you know you, you brought up a very interesting point and I'm, I'm pretty curious to ask you this uh, Traditionally, work and life has been always compartmentalized in terms of, you know, the work used to be separate and your, your work or your personal life used to be separate. Now, thanks to the digital technologies, we are in a 24-7 connected mode. How do you balance your work life? Uh, I mean, I, I'm very curious to ask you that. Actually, I don't think it's such a big deal and uh, well, uh, you know, all of us go through our phases uh, in life, the various phases and I did go through too, whether it's marriage or whether it's uh, motherhood 
and beyond that as well in terms of taking care of one's parents etc but i but i think it's important that you know we make those little spaces uh, in our uh, day uh, and uh, you know there are ample opportunities within the organization as well uh, whether you look at some of the activities that we have whether you talk about sports or the gym uh, facilities etc uh, so or, within the organization itself, there are uh, ample, uh, you know, avenues to be able to focus on something other than just work. Uh, but I also, uh, you know, do believe that's important that I uh, focus on fitness um, as well as taking care of my other responsibilities other than uh, work. So I focus on things that uh, interest me too, whether it's my hobbies, etc. And that's the way I can be more uh, fulfilled and happy as an individual. Yeah, fabulous and, and I guess and I, I would want to believe that those are the moments when you when the other side of Suchi takes over on art side, on paintings and on the, uh, the Indian classical music. Isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And I'm not very different from what you do, Vikram, because <laughs> you do get uh, your time off to focus on your uh, guitar and your music as well. So I guess uh, if we are really passionate about something, we just make sure that we make the time uh, within whatever, uh, you know, the, uh, the day that we have um, to focus on uh, what we love most. So, uh, Suchi, uh, you, you, um and I guess a lot of people want to ask this uh, and this would have been asked a million times as well. Uh, he, the corporate world is usually seen as a male dominant society if I may or perceived as one. Now you have successfully transformed your career and you have emerged as one of the key leaders in the corporate world. How difficult was it to move across and up the ladder and how did Tech Mahindra really support you in this journey? So I, I really don't think it's you know all that difficult. Um, I think what's important is uh, you know to aspire mm -hmm. most importantly uh, and to have that ambition because if you have the aspiration to move ahead uh, and you have the ambition then you know how is it any different whether you're a woman or a man. Uh, but but yes, definitely, I guess uh, the responsibilities and the expectations that we have uh, in our personal lives could be very different from uh, a male colleague. And uh, uh, therefore, you know, having a supportive family uh, who's encouraging you is uh, very important. Uh, and it's also about the expectations that we set at home. Uh, so a lot of uh, women tend to believe that uh, they can do it all and are afraid to perhaps seek help uh, within the house or even externally, uh, which I think they shouldn't be uh, ashamed uh, of asking for help uh, from other family members or even outsourcing some of the work that you know one needs to do uh, at home. Yep. And uh, I think in terms of some of the practices that the organization has when we talk about uh, flexibility uh, in our, uh, uh, you know, uh, work life, etc. There are s lots of, uh, you know, uh, practices that we have which enable, you know, people of different needs. It's not just about women who need flexibility. Lots of times men colleagues need flexibility. And uh, uh, today lots of families, uh, you know, have uh, uh, both the uh, spouses working. So therefore, uh, you know, enabling them and providing enablers within the organization for our associates, irrespective of whether they are men and women or uh, is something that we already provide. And therefore, one can leverage some of these, uh, you know, uh, benefits that we provide for our associates. So. Sujeep, once again, want to thank you so much for taking time out uh, and we look forward to your guidance and leadership uh, to take our company to the best uh, places to work for. Thank you so much, Vikram. So that was Sucharita Palepu for you uh, on, on this series on Live, Work, Play, the Tech M way. Uh, we would come back to you with another leader, uh, perhaps in, in another Walk the Talk. And till then, you have a great time ahead. Uh, keep yourself spirited keep that fire on see you bye bye